This video on circles looks at circles that touch internally and externally. It's a continuation of the previous video and in this particular one we're looking at externally touching circles. You may remember from our previous video that we looked at this diagram representing internally touching circles and this diagram representing externally touching circles and the formula that we're looking at now when we're dealing with externally touching circles is d equals r1 plus r2. Again d is just the distance between the centres and R1 and R2 are the radii of the two circles. Again, we'll need to be aware of these formulae, the formula for distance from the log tables on page 18, and the formula for the circle's general form and its centre and radius. So let's have a look at an example. So our example is to show that the circles x squared plus y squared plus 14x minus 10y minus 26 equals 0, and x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 14y plus 28 equals 0 touch externally. So I'm going to start by calling my two circles circle 1 and circle 2, just my own reference. And I'm also making a note of the general form of the equation of the circle. If you're confident that you know how the question proceeds from here, then pause the video and give it a go yourself and then see if you're correct. Otherwise, follow along with me. So I'm looking at circle 1 first. And I'm going to just equate the terms with the g of x, the fy and the c. And from this, I can get g, f, and c. And of course, I need these to find centre and radius. So in this case, centre equals minus 7, 5. And I can see that that's been got there from the centre formula, minus g, minus f. And now I'm substituting in to find my radius. Notice that in the radius formula, there's a minus c. But because my c is negative already, it's going to be a plus in the formula. And this radius comes out as 10. Now for my second circle, I'm noting my 2g, my 2f, and my c g is minus 2, f is 7, and c is 28. So this time my centre is 2 minus 7, and filling in for my radius, I get 5. So now I'll find the distance between the two centres, and when I fill this formula in, I get an answer of 15. Note that my two radii add to 15. So I'll conclude by saying that this implies that d equals r1 plus r2, and so therefore the circles touch externally. Okay, so here's a question for you. So here's your question. Show that the circles x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4 plus 1 equals 0 and x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 10y plus 25 equals 0. Touch externally. Pause the video here, do the question, and then play and see if you're right. Okay. Again, I'll just call these circle 1 and circle 2 for convenience. They're interchangeable, though don't forget. It doesn't matter which one I call circle 1 or which one I call circle 2. And I'll make a note of the format of my coordinate geometry equation of the circle. So for C1, I'll pick out my GF and C. And I'll use these to get centre and radius. It's a good plan to have your log tables open next to you at all times for these questions. Centre is minus 1, 2. And radius works out as 2. Now on to circle 2. And I'm figuring out my GF and C values. And again, I'll use these to get centre and radius. So centre is 3, 5. And radius works out as 3. Now I'll find the distance between my centres. And this works out as 5. Of course, looking at my radii, I see that I get the same value. So I know that the distance between the centres is R1 plus R2. And so the circles touch externally. <laughs> 